space. No one can hear you scream. Time to talk about the extra surprise and another special classic review of the 2024 Halloween season reviews. So let's talk about it. Hello everyone! Welcome back to another review of the 2024 Halloween Season Reviews. Oh my gosh guys, we are just about approaching the finale of the 2024 Halloween Season Reviews. I cannot believe it's coming to a close soon. And it really has been a, gr it really has been a great time. I am doing these reviews with all you good wonderful folks. Yeah, and I hope you all stay tuned for all the cool and uh, amazing reviews that I got coming for the rest of 2024 Halloween season reviews. And, um, yeah, uh, first off, welcome everybody. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get all my latest reviews, all my latest rankings, and all my latest top 10 lists. And stay tuned for all the cool shit that I got coming your way, because you guys are not going to want to miss what's coming. And if for the people who are coming back to this channel, welcome back everybody. It's so good to see your faces again, and I'm so truly happy and so glad that you guys clicked on my videos, because it really means a lot to me. And again, stay tuned for all the cool shit that I got coming your way. Um, as for today's review, we are talking about 1979's Alien. Yes, Alien. Uh, so, um, in terms of the 11th review, it was it, it it was down a lot. I almost I almost did Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I really did. I I really I did it. But then I figured I kind of want I kind of want to save it for next year because I feel like I have like um I feel like I'll have more to say and I feel like I want to save it special for you know next year you know I don't know, um and I feel like there's just more I want to talk about with Alien right now because I have a real, a lot to say so yeah um yeah I I want to talk about Alien and that's what I'm gonna do today so. Yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great Halloween season, and yeah, don't really have anything else to say. Uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Here is my review for 1979's Alien. Let's go. So this movie stars Sigourney Reaver, Tom Skerritt, Ian Holm, Veronica Cartwright, and the list goes on. This movie's directed by Ridley Scott, and the story of this movie is about bunch of people uh, going in on the ship, but something goes wrong with um, their ship and they get attacked by aliens and the aliens slowly one by one start killing off all the characters and yeah, they basically they can't escape and it's their goal to try to kill them and yeah, to try and survive in this in this dangerous situation and yeah, let's let's just get right to the positives. The positives of this movie, oh my god, they go on all day. The perform in terms of the performances, Sigourney Reaver as Ellen Ripley is fantastic. Like she is just one of the most badass, awesome, well developed, and just one of my favorite female characters of all time. Like I absolutely love Sigourney. See, Sigourney Reaver's a great actress. Like I love Sigourney Reaver. Like literally everything. She's just like she's just so good. She's just she, you just, you really relate to her, and you just, you really understand her, and she's just so cool, and she's just so likable, and you just, you just care about her, and Sharon Ripley just plays that role so well, and I just, I absolutely love Ellen Ripley. I, I do think her performance is way better in the second film, and I think she's way more badass in the second film, but she does really a job in this film, and some of the scenes, like, some of the scenes that are really, really intense, like, actually really creepy, she really, really crushes it with all, all her performances in those scenes. It's just like, oh, yeah. I, 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 gotta, I gotta give it all out to Sigourney Reaver, because she just crushed it in this role. And, yeah, like I said, she is literally one of my favorite characters. I think um, she's up there with, like, Sarah Connor, 
for like my my favorite char female characters of all time, and definitely up there. I can't remember. Did I have her in my top ten favorite movie characters list? I think I did. But um, if not, I think she'd definitely be an honorable mention. Cause she would definitely be up there. But yeah, I absolutely love Sigourney Reaver as Ellen Ripley. She's just absolutely badass, and, and she's just a great character. Um, Tom Skerritt is also good in this role. I also really liked him. Um, you know, Holm was also really good. Veronica Cartwright was also really good. All, all the other actors, I think they were pretty good. But it's really Sigourney Reaver who was the standout with this and this, the second movie, Aliens, which... That movie I'll have to talk about next year because, <laughs> yeah, next year for 2025 Halloween season reviews because, oh boy, am I going to have a lot of say in that review. Yeah, I think even though that movie's better, this movie's still fantastic as well because the first two Alien movies are just like straight up masterpieces. Um, yeah, this movie just absolutely just shows it. Um, I got to talk about the direction by Ridley Scott. The direction by Ridley Scott, it's like, it's it's got a lot of settledness to it. A lot of creepiness and tenseness the way the movie opens the way it ends like I, I i get even to the third the third act of this movie for the folks who haven't seen this in this movie i'm not going to spoil it for you all but the third act of this movie is so intense so creepy and so well done and really scott directs the fuck out of this movie and he does a great uh, a job especially in that third act and i when i was watching that i was just like Oh, uh, oh, oh God, oh God, get, get, get out of there, Ellen Ripley. Um, yeah, it, it is really intense, really well done. Yeah, yeah, Ridley Scott's direction is absolutely fantastic, and I just, I just, like, it's Ridley Scott, so he's, he's directed a lot of, like, the greatest movies. He directed The Martian, which is a movie I still need to review on this channel. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely fucking love The Martian. It's my favorite Ridley Scott movie of all time. And again, I need to review that movie, and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me review that movie. But, um, but yeah, um, a a Alien is a really amazingly well-directed film, and I just, I love every second of it. And yeah, and I gotta talk about the cinematography. The cinematography and the shots and the filmmaking of this movie is just incredible. Like, this movie looks fantastic. 1979, it looks incredible. The, uh, how, the, how they do the effects on the aliens, how they do uh, the, the look of the ship. It's just like, it looks amazing. It just looks like, it just looks incredible. And just like, all, all the xenomorphs, it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ. This is, oh, it's just, it's so well done, so well made. And I absolutely love everything about the filmmaking and the shots. Yeah, like, these shots, like, these shots, some of these shots lead into some fucking creepy jump scares like there's a certain jump scare in the movie i'm not gonna say anything about but it's pretty creepy i'm just gonna say that it's pretty creepy um and yeah just like the whole filmmaking and the whole camera work of this movie it's just like oh i abs i absolutely love it and just it's it's such an incredibly and i mean incredibly well-made movie and i love everything about it um and, uh, yeah, of course, like, that also leaves me just, this movie's actually pretty creepy. It really is. It really is creepy. Like, is it, like, um, a terrifying movie? Maybe I would not, like, a whole terrifying, but it definitely has some scary moments. You know what? Yeah, I'll definitely say it's terrifying. It really is. It has some really, really well done scary moments. Like, there's genuinely moments that actually is genuinely pretty creepy. Like, I, I, I know, I, I've heard some people say, like, this movie's more of the horror side, while Aliens is more on the action side. To be fair, I think both movies have really intense... Well, I think Aliens is one of the most intense movies, like, ever. Ever. And, um... Uh, oh, God, that movie's fucking amazing. I've got to talk about that movie eventually. Uh, maybe for the 2025 Halloween season reviews. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, this, the, the, this movie's really scary, really intense, and really well done. I absolutely love it. Um, the music, I also just gotta say, the music is really good. It's got really subtleness and um, really uh, creepy eeriness and affects the story a lot. It's, it's just like, it's, woo! <laughs> it's really good, really good. Um, 
gosh, what, what else is there to say about this movie? Um, I just, there's so many iconic scenes, like, um, like, oh, some scenes that still freak me out. I don't want to, I don't want to say anything about them, because I don't want to spoil them for y'all. Oh, but, um, I guess I could talk about one scene, so, like, if you guys don't want spoilers, um, just warning, this is a spoiler scene, so, yeah. Just, um, just, if you guys all seen the movie, you guys all know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna say this. The dinner scene. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. That scene is iconic. And it's still creeps the fuck out of me still to this day. <laughs> but yeah, that scene's really well done. The whole movie is just, it's really, really, really good with its, um, with its eeriness. It's really good with its scariness. And I just, I absolutely love how the whole movie is just directed and filmed and how scary it is. It's just, oh, it's, it's so good. So good. Um, yeah. God. Um, as for the negatives, um... I can't really think of that many negatives. I really don't think I... I really don't think I have any negatives with this movie. This movie is just so good. So incredible. And it's just a great horror movie. And it legitimately is, like... It legitimately is, like, one of the best, like, horror movies out there. And, and yeah, even though, yes, I do think Aliens is way better, I still think this film is an absolutely incredible watch and one that you guys, you folks, definitely need to check out. Um, and that is why I'm going to give 1979's Alien a 10 out of 10. This movie is a fucking incredible masterpiece. I absolutely love everything about it. Um, it's such a great movie. I love this movie and its sequel. And again, if you guys have not seen this movie, please, please, just, just, just watch it. Watch it. It's such a fantastic, great movie. I absolutely love it, and yeah, it's one of my favorites. So there you go, folks. That will wrap it up for my review of Alien 1979. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of this movie? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's okay? Or you like me? Is it like, you think it's one of the, um, one of the scariest horror movies out there? Give me your thoughts and opinions on this movie down below in the comments. Um, I got two more videos left of the 2024 Halloween season reviews. Um, I, I guess I might as well just say them. I got, um, my top 10 favorite horror movie villains that is looking to come out tomorrow. And then, finally, to end off the 2024 Halloween season reviews, I have my review of Halloween 1978. So, guys, please stay tuned for all those, those two videos coming soon. And then, I do actually got some plans for after Halloween, because I know before Halloween I was... Kind of taking a break from YouTube for a little bit, but trust me, guys, I really am trying to get back to, get back to YouTube. So, yeah, um, but I will give more update on those after Halloween. So, but um, for now, uh, stay tuned for the rest of the videos that I got for 2024's Halloween season reviews. So, yeah, um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel, and. Happy Halloween from Hades Lord.